Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Google Earth Engine tutorials. Today, I'm excited to share with you three different methods to authenticate the Google Earth Engine Python API. Before we dive in, please make sure you have Python 3 or the latest version of Python installed on your computer. Let's get started. To use Google Earth Engine Python API, you'll need to have a registered Google Cloud project with the Earth Engine API enabled. To check this, open the Earth Engine code editor. Click on your account avatar, and it will show you the cloud project associated with your account. If your project isn't registered, you'll see an exclamation mark. Just go ahead and register a new Google Cloud project. You can also switch between cloud projects as needed. All right, let's jump into our first method using Google Colab. Open Google Colab and initiate the runtime. Since the Earth Engine API and GMAP are already installed on Colab, we won't need to install anything using pip. Type import ee, then type ee.authenticate. A new browser window will open, prompting you to log in and grant access to your Colab notebook. Once that's done, in the next block, type ee.initialize and pass your project name as an argument. Run that block and you're all set. Next up is method two, using the Google Cloud CLI. First, ensure you have the latest Python version install, the Earth Engine API, and GE Map installed via PIP. Download and install the Google Cloud SDK shell using the link in the description below. I'm using a Mac for this tutorial, but the process is straightforward on Windows as well. For Windows CLI authentication, check out my other video linked in the description. Open your terminal on Mac and type gcloud auth login to log into your account. This step is optional. Next, type Earth Engine Authenticate. A browser window will open. If you're on Linux, it will provide you with a link. Just copy that link and paste it into your browser to authorize. If you've already authenticated an account, you can also use Earth Engine Authenticate Double Dash Force to re-authenticate. Once you're authorized, you can write a Python script, import ee, and then call ee.initialize while providing your project name. This CLI method is particularly useful for Earth Engine assets management and bulk uploads to GEE. If you want to see all CLI commands, type Earth Engine help. Once authenticated, you can create a Jupyter notebook or run your Python scripts from the terminal, command prompt, or PowerShell. Just remember, if you want to use GE Map, you'll need to install that via pip or conda. Finally, Let's look at method three, authenticating through an API key. Go to the Google Cloud Console in your browser and navigate to service accounts. Create a new service account, give it a name, and for the next two steps, just hit continue. Once the service account is created, click on it, then go to keys and select add key. Make sure the key type is set to JSON. This will automatically download the JSON file. I like to rename this file for ease of use and create a new directory to store it. In your Python script, create a variable for the service account and store your service account name in it. To authenticate using the API key, use the special function ee.serviceaccountcredentials pass in your service account and API key as arguments. Finally, initialize the project with ee.initialize and pass your credentials 
and you're good to go. You can now use the GEE Python API in Jupyter Notebooks, VS Code, PyCharm, and more. If you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or confusions, feel free to drop a comment below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.